we were treated to that amazing auroral display back in mid-May and the sunspot that actually brought us this G5 geomagnetic storm is actually pivoting back around towards the earth. So the way that the sun rotates is about 27 days in a rotation cycle and specific sunspot spots take about two weeks to cross over the surface of the sun facing towards the earth. So for about the last two weeks or so, that particular sunspot has been on the back side of the sun, but now we're starting to see it come around to the eastern side. It's not as active as it was when it was facing the sun a couple of weeks or facing the earth a couple of weeks ago. However, it still is producing some solar flares. So in the next week or so, there is the possibility that we would be set up to get another impressive auroral display. Now keep in mind that G5 magnetic storm we had in mid-May was an incredibly rare occurrence. For last time we had a G5 magnetic storm was 21 years ago. So the odds of that happening again are certainly not terribly high, but from June 4th to June 6th, the sunspot will be in the perfect position to possibly create some impressive aurora. So we'll be keeping a close eye on that particular forecast in the coming weeks.